Um, to show you a lot of the great stuff that I had just talked about, we'd like to welcome Jay Tomlin, our Director of Product Management, to the stage, and we're going to show you how it all works. Thank you, Jesse. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jesse. See you. All right, so Jay, what's the use case? Set up the demo for us. So we want to show a demo that could really highlight all of the powerful features you just talked about, uh, being able to go through a complete document lifecycle of creating and editing a file, getting some uh, approvals and collaboration with my colleagues, and then securely sharing it with an external third party. So I'll start out with a scenario of uh, working on a contract. So there's a, a deal that we're working on with another company, and uh, my team is working to build this contract up. And we used to do this just by passing email attachments back and forth all the time, and that was very clumsy and inefficient. Um, what we do now is just upload a copy of the draft contract right into ShareFile and give multiple team members access to the same folder. Since we've integrated with Microsoft Office 365 for uh, co-editing, I can edit this document right within the ShareFile web interface. And uh, this means I, I don't need to download and re-upload the file after making my changes. I simply make my changes right on the live file, and those changes save immediately back to the ShareFile location. So we're working on the document here, and um, oh, you can see my, my colleague, uh, Mark, is, is in there editing the file at the same time. And so uh, I see his changes in real time, and as we're, uh, as we're making the final changes on this contract, everything is saved automatically right back to ShareFile. So the contract is shaping up. Uh, it's, it's looking good. But before we go to the next step, I'd really like to get uh, my finance guy to look at it, check the numbers, make sure everything's looking OK. Always a good choice. Always a good choice, yeah. yes. Uh, so let me go back into um, uh, that folder. And what I'd like to do is just initiate an approval process uh, so I can send this document out for review. Now, again, this is something that used to be done with email attachments but it's so, so much more efficient to do that on the central copy that's here in ShareFile. So with the new workflows uh, feature of ShareFile, I can request the approval from my finance team. So I'll hit get approval. Uh, this is uh, time sensitive, so I'll make sure that we get feedback by Friday. And I'll add an approver here, uh, send this over to Pete. And then uh, I could add additional approvers and make one finish the approval before the, uh, the other one starts. But I'll, I'll kick off that workflow. And what that will do is send a copy of this file over to Pete for his review. And it also begins, uh, or it puts us both into a collaboration workspace where we can work on the file together. Uh, he can make some annotations. So I'm going to switch over and show Pete's computer at the same time here. Pete should get uh, an email notification that there's a, a workflow pending mm -hmm. his approval. So we'll take a look at that and review the document. And now Pete and I are both viewing and uh, commenting on this document at the same time. And I'll see his annotations and comments in, in real time as well. So here's a section that uh, maybe Pete has a concern with. He'll put a comment in there. Uh, we should check with legal on this. And as soon as uh, Pete submits that comment, I would see the same comment show up on my computer too. Yep, and I actually see it right over here. Yep. OK, so uh, let's say Pete is good. Um, he approves that, that document, says we're good to go to the next step. Um, that's going to uh, drop another approved copy uh, right into the ShareFile folder. Um, the next step that we need to uh, make with this document is to uh, get that legal approval that, that Pete asked about. So we'd like to uh, share this with an external outside counsel, mm -hmm. uh, somebody that we work with on these sorts of big contracts. But this is still a pretty sensitive document. It's not final. There's some financials in here. Yep. And so I'd like to uh, send this document out to Anna, who's our, our legal contact. Um, but I'm cautious about what she's allowed to do with that file. So I'm going to use the new rights management feature to do a protected share when I send this document out to Anna. So I'll enter her in as a recipient, say, uh, please review, and do not forward. Hmm. Yeah, that, that used to be the only way you could protect right, a file, exactly. is the number of exclamation points after do not forward. <laughs> um, but this time, I can go into my edit message options, and there's this new feature that says what recipients are allowed to do. Uh, if you say recipients are allowed to have full control, then they'll get the full document, and they can do whatever they want with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I really only need Anna to be able to view this contract 
online and offline, and make sure that she's always authenticated to ShareFile before she, uh, she does that. Yep. So I'll go ahead and, and send that document. So that's kicking off an email to Anna, and we'll switch over to uh, Anna's computer and see how that looks from, from her perspective. So now Anna is uh, uh, not part of my company. She's uh, uh, an external collaborator, mm -hmm. and she's getting the email notification that I just sent saying, please review, do not forward, and click here to download the contract. So uh, she needs to log on to ShareFile in order to get that, that do document downloaded to her. Um, there is a warning here that says these files are protected, and uh, she can learn more about the protections if she clicks that link. But we'll go ahead and download that contract, and you can see that this came to my local machine here in the downloads folder. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go ahead and uh, open that up. And since this is a protected file, the file actually can phone home back to the ShareFile platform, uh, check to make sure that we're authenticated, we have the right permissions, and then present a secure view of that document. So here locally, the, the document is watermarked, and if I uh, check my permissions on this file, you can see that I only have the, the ability to view the data, not to make any changes or print it or, or redistribute it with anyone else. So that's great. Now, Finally, we're, we're about ready to sign the contract. Uh, I can use the built-in right signature integration yeah, to kick off that workflow. Um, and it's really time to take Anna's access away. So if I go into my sent items here in ShareFile, I will uh, expire that link. And as soon as I expire that link, um, back on Anna's machine, uh, if, he, if she tried to download the file again, she would immediately get an access denied message because that link is no longer valid in ShareFile. Yeah but she already downloaded the file. Mm -hmm. And if she tries to open that file again, the same uh, phone, home phone home action is going to take place, and uh, she will not be able to open that file anymore since we've revoked her access to that document in ShareFile. Yeah. So that's how we uh, can go through the entire life cycle of document editing, mm -hmm. storing, and secure sharing. That's great. Fantastic, Jay. Thanks very much. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it.